Today, for you, I have yet again another Luigi's Mansion 4 video game idea. As last one took a big emphasis on a haunted train, this time we go into the haunted sea on a cruise ship to see what would happen with this storyline this time around. Today's video is not just a random Luigi's Mansion 4 video, however, because today is a very special day for Luigi's Mansion and the series as a whole. It has officially just been announced that Luigi's Mansion 3 has reached over 10 million units sold on the Nintendo Switch which is absolutely incredible for the Luigi's Mansion game. So I think, without a doubt, the Luigi's Mansion 4 is probably already in development, which is super exciting, and it makes me super happy as a Luigi's Mansion fan. So let's dive into speculation of another theory of what the Luigi's Mansion 4 could be and what direction it could go in. But before we get started, thank you guys so much for tuning in. We are getting ever so closely to our goal of 150,000 subs by the end of the year, so all you have to do is like the video and subscribe to stay up to date on all things Luigi's Mansion and Nintendo in general. Help us our goal and thank you guys so much for tuning in today let's get on to the video so the story this time starts off with mario and friends deciding to take a vacation via a cruise line instead of going to some type of hotel or some type of faraway land they want to be on a boat they are going on a trip stopping at fun islands to relax at along the way and kind of just enjoying their time together on the night of the first day all the passengers on the boat are invited to a party on the main deck as the party kicks off, the giant screen plays a hypnotic song and everyone watching the screen gets hypnotized. Luckily, right before the screen turned on and for Luigi to not see the screen, he was knocked into the pool by Polterpup and now everyone is walking toward Luigi as he exits the pool to capture him as they're all brainwashed thanks to King Boo that was behind the whole thing and of course, Madam Gravely. Luigi runs to jump overboard but is fished out of the water by E. Gad at the last second. Egad has a lab at the bottom of the ship in a storage room, and this is going to serve as the main basis for where Luigi has his homeroom at. The game will not be about Luigi progressing through level-based areas like in 3, but instead different scenarios that will feel more like a story mode progression game. Luigi will have to explore different areas of the ship and take down ghosts that King Boo and Helen Gravely brought on board. He will have to go to the kitchen, the control room, the dining hall, the party deck, the engine room, and multiple other parts of the ship, taking down the boss ghosts, trying to develop the story and find out what is going on and what is King Boo's main objective. Luigi will gain power-ups and new items from the islands and different areas he traverses by collecting parts for EGAD to level up different parts of his gear. Different islands will have different parts, and different parts of the ship will have different parts for him to collect in order to give to EGAD, which will be really useful for his gear upgrades and stuff like that. Luigi will also be allowed to change his outfit so you can kind of decorate him the way you want, but at the end of the day, Egad bases the new Poltergust after Flood, yes, from Super Mario Sunshine, as it has the ability to shoot water in different ways. It will have the ability, just like the rocket nozzle, to shoot a stream of water up so that he can get up to extremely high places that is a lot more powerful than just the burst, and different things with different water pressures and different types of water that he can shoot out. For instance, some will freeze instantly on contact, and some will actually be boiling water that will melt different things, and there's different things that they can do with this with the Poltergust since this is all an at sea theme I think this would be actually pretty cool Periodically, different events will happen, adding to the story and overall gameplay. For instance, the lights might go out all over the ship, or violent storms will happen on the outside, also affecting the way the ship moves when you're on the inside, meaning the rooms will tilt and move and make you dizzy as you're in your rooms and there's a storm outside. These will be random events. There will also be a tease of some sort of ghost kraken in the water, where some tentacles will be visible throughout the day and throughout the night, and it will lead to a giant ghost kraken boss fight at the very end of the game, which would be very cool. There might even be a part where you can visit the kingdom of Atlantis and the ghosts that inhabit it since it is a ruined kingdom and lots of those civilians have probably died since then, which would be really cool to see as well. You can even encounter a ghost ship out at sea sometimes at night that stops by and you can jump onto the ship and explore it as well, very similar to Wind Waker. The story is that King Boo is taking the ship to some uncharted island where a powerful jewel lies and Madame Gravely is just coming along for the ride helping him out. The only way to get there however is through the Bermuda Triangle which is a ghost realm. He needs this in order to turn the entire world into ghosts because the jewel gives you one special wish. The ship will stop at islands from time to time allowing you to get out and explore the area, but there will be one giant island with a volcano at the very end of the game. This will be a creepy haunted island and it homes the jewel. 
These islands will give Luigi the first ever ability to be freely roaming around an island. You can turn the camera any way you want and pretty much just explore it as like a mini open world with these at least the tiny islands. When you get to the last giant island, you can explore a giant vast area before you get to the final boss, which would be very interesting and different for Luigi's Mansion. Normally, it's a camera behind Luigi all the time and maybe on the boat and the rest of the game it's still that way. But when you get into these islands, you can explore and turn the camera any way you want, which would be a lot of fun. They would just have to figure out the controls with that thanks to Luigi's different kind of controls controls with the vacuum and everything and shining the light around. During the game, you will also have recurring battles against the corrupted characters, such as Mario, Peach, Toad, Donkey Kong, Wario, maybe even Yoshi, any others that join on this trip. The only way to save them, however, is by making a wish with the jewel at the very end of the game. So there's no way saving them throughout the game. You have to wait until you complete the game in order to save your friends. Of course, you'll fight King Boo and Madam Gravely here and there, but the final boss will actually be the ancient pirate who has the jewel on his crown. But even he tries to kill King Boo and Madam Gravely, so they all need to team up and take him out. The pirate gains control over all of Luigi's friends, so believe it or not, it's up to Luigi and King Boo to save the day. I can't really tell you how this boss battle will go. Maybe Luigi sucks up King Boo a little bit and starts spinning him around like Mario does Bowser and tosses him at the pirate ghost. And maybe for a second you can control King Boo and do something. I don't know, but I feel like there could be some cool things with this. But after the unlikely duo reign victorious, Luigi snatches the crown before King Boo can and wishes everything back to normal on the ship as if nothing ever happened in the first place. The same screen comes back on on the party deck right where everything happened in the very beginning and Luigi gets afraid but to see that it's all normal. Normal. Nothing ever happened and that Luigi was able to prevent all of this. Now, of course, there's some things that you could add to the story. Maybe you have to actually rush the same way at the very final boss of Luigi's Mansion 3. You had to hurry up and beat King Boo in a time limit. Maybe the same thing happens here where the volcano on the island will erupt and right at the very end of the game, Luigi makes the wish and saves everybody right before the lava hits everyone and kills everybody. That would be a really cool ending and kind of just waking up from a terrible nightmare. And it reminds me a lot of different Zelda games, honestly, like Link's Awakening and Wind Waker. And this would be a really cool idea to have a Luigi's Mansion game out at sea. But what did you guys think of this video game idea? This was all based on Luigi's Mansion 3, the Spectral Catch chapter, which put Luigi in kind of a pirate themed area. There was a grotto you could explore with different caves and different alcoves, and of course a little bit of a sandy beach for Luigi to go find some hidden gems under, and of course the ghost ship and the fight against the ghost shark. This was really cool, and I had a lot of fun with this stage, and I thought this would be a really cool idea for an entire game based on a cruise ship and different pirate elements being added. Let me know in the comments down below what you think and another idea that you guys might have for another style of video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Remember, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to help us reach our goal. But thank you guys so much for tuning in and like always, I'll see you all on the next one. See you guys.